Welcome back to the MLG Finals 2015. Mr. X joined by T. FaZe looking really strong there in map number one here against DT. The two strongest teams I've seen so far, FaZe and Denial for sure, yeah. but FaZe just has that something extra, man. I see it and I see why they're doing so well. The baiting, the switching, they it, devalue your life. They it, stay alive for so darn long. And I feel like they're not doing anything complicated. Right. They are just... That's why it looks so easy for right, them. Right, it looks really easy. And then you try to explain it, and it's like, well, you know, they just bait and switch really well. And right. People are kind of like, well, that should be easy. Every team should be able to do that. But exactly. it's not as easy as it sounds. I, I just, we can play a little game with it, and it shows why they've been so successful. If you watch a phase player, you can count how many times per life that they go deep in the red, you know, they're one shot, and they yeah. just, they know how to play their life. They know how to preserve it and make each respawn count so much more than some of the other teams. And it just, it shows, honestly. They're able to do so much more if you're not dying as much yeah. as you're actually on the map. You know, a two and a half re second respawn isn't too much in a hard point, but it adds up. Going over to this solar, S&D will go on board with Zoom at the start. He's been the best player here this week, and I think, don't think anyone would argue that. And uh, S&D solar team. Where do you really want to put your focus on? Basically, it's all about group pushes on this map. You really want to make sure you have middle control right here. Zuma's been doing a great job this entire tournament, switching it up, using that sniper. I saw him on a Detroit versus Optic Nation last night. He, he should have had 17 kills with a sniper. It was absolutely absurd. Getting hit markers, getting unlucky, and only got like 11 or 10, and I say only. Kid's been super impressive with the sniper rifle. Faye's doing a good job trying to just clear out the map, finding a gap open so Enable can move up a little bit and get this bomb down. Sort of an unlucky timing for the player on DT. Didn't catch him. He wasn't peeking out far enough, but looks like Enable's going to move yeah, over and try uh, and get this down. Diabolic, who is going to back off the A site, going to give it up. Two phase, it's gonna be enabled getting bombed down. Now it's gonna be phase backing out. Enable's just gonna dip away and they're gonna leave. Leave it's gonna be attached with a sniper rifle here to watch it. So phase going with two snipers, staying true to the phase brand name. Gonna be attached getting away, but you see DT making a strong push down the A street. And one player attach gonna be able to take him out with a pistol. It's gonna be all up to Diabolic here in a 2v1. And Usually don't see this, but it's going to be two snipers left alive. I bet if uh, Diabolic knew that, he'd probably be chasing pretty harder. I mean, you know, right now, he's trying to make a play happen, and he's not going to be oh. able to pick that oh, kill up. Oh, my God. And that is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see his attach. Put some awful shots down with his face pistol. Clan. Put it on YouTube. Next montage. Repping face clan. Nice. Coming out with that quick sort scope of quick right scope there. on the Round dashing player. A little bit of shaky shots from the player from DT there, but Attach just doesn't care. Takes advantage. Zuma and Attach, the sniper duo, both double kills for that first round. It, FaZe is just looking yeah. so and dang good right we'll now. We'll go Kinda on board just, with uh, Ivy here. Just flashy plays from them, but it's paying off. Basically, just teams are allowing to do, let, allowing them to do whatever they want. Snipers, doesn't matter which weapons are going on. The player, which is Ivy, under that aqua tag, taking some grenades in the face right there. Zuma with another snipe, gets taken out, traded quickly, but every kill on defense is so important. Enable with another kill on the bomb, but now in a 1v2 yeah. situation, ended very quick. Sender Faze is not messing around. Sender picks up two kills that round. I think if Ivy picks up that one outside of A, though, they're right. able to make it a 2v2 round. Probably would have been a little bit closer. You see Clacer here in your final kill camp. Gonna come right behind Cinder. Finish him off, and Watson 0 oh 2 really early, but I feel like this is the game mode. This and Uplink are the two that probably the biggest adjustment for a player coming over from the EU to playing in North America. Definitely. I'm, I've always been impressed with the way that Watson is able to get a lot of kills in Uplink, but Search and Destroy, a completely different style, especially playing against FaZe. They just sort of peek whatever they want. We see another quick first blood. Zoom in and attach. Those snipers constantly getting first bloods. I've seen it every time they play SD. They are not afraid to peek a lane and peek out. And each time, it seems like one player gets a first blood within the first, you know, 10 seconds of the round. Interesting. It's, uh, Clay going to be leading the charge. Usually see Clay playing a little bit further back. It's going to be. Diabolic left alive yet again. It was a 1v3. Takes that one, not able to finish off these other two. And these rounds are going really fast. I mean, uh, FaZe is easy. just, they know exactly what they want to do. They are just challenging DT at every choke point. And right now, DT just can't catch a break. Can't just win. They, they just aren't winning those gunfights. Exactly. And 
this sort of style we see from zoom and attach is a little bit opposite of respawn. In respawn, we see clay and enable allow them to play super aggressive. But with a double sniper setup, it's allowing clay and enable to play a little bit faster. We yeah. saw clay super pushed up at that garage door, not something we see usually. But when you're getting so many snipes like this, it just sort of it opens up the map. It makes the other team play scared. They can't peek because if they peek, they're going to get sniped in the face. That's going to be DT going over towards the B bomb site. It's going to be Ivy with the bomb as one player getting in front of him, trying to lead the way. It's interesting. We see this more and more that teams just starting to stack sites on defense. Going to give Ivy the plant, then going to go for a retake. I don't think they know this one player from phase. Lurking in the middle of the map, though. I think Enable probably going to wait for some teammate support before he makes a play. Yeah, it looks like FaZe is going to try and set up some sort of, you know, retakes uh, at maps. Just stack up, make sure that no one hops on the bomb very quickly. Two early kills to open up the round for Enable and Clay. Looks like Attach is going for that defuse very quickly. Gets taken out, but trades easily Smart going play. in. And it's just FaZe's setups are so much better. They're always ready for the trade. They know when to dash away, which teammate is going to be helping them out quickly. The retake happened extremely, extremely fast. fast. I mean, it's just I, I believe it was uh, Watson and no another hesitation. player by DT just went out that mid cut and trying to go around. And once they left that area by the yep. site, they had two teammates dead already. Exactly. Tash just gets on bomb, and they're forced to come back yep. and challenge. I believe one of them had a pistol because he had a sniper in his back pocket, not able to make you anything You can happen. comment that FaZe is just completely playing better, but plays like that, Attach hopping on that bomb like that, it forces a play it, from the other team. It's you small, put them in an the uncomfortable small things situation. That FaZe is right. really That's why it's at. so easy for them. And they're on point. Clacer's going to get pushed down the A street, though. That's going to be Diabolic picking him up, and I like this play by... DT, they're actually taking map control now. Right. They've pushed up the A Street, they've killed one player, now they have mid-map as well. So they pretty much have just isolated base to this right side by the B bomb site. Now they just need to pick up the kills, but right there, you have Ivy challenging enable. Sub versus Balor in the mid cut, not a good challenge there, evening up at three players apiece. And you see when FaZe goes down in numbers like that, they instantly slow way down. No reckless challenges, enabled a just allowed to roam around the middle of the map, going from the bottom pipe back to mid cut, just catching people at the middle over and over again, getting call outs from his teammates, knows which angles to peek from at which time, and he's gonna catch another player right here, almost the third kill, but Attach steals it a little bit, and, and you know, phase was I, down at numbers, now like they're what's, up. what's causing all the issues for this DT squad is that the snipers of phase are so strong that as soon as one of the snipers of phase picks up a shot on one, that they right. just stand down and they just kind of sit in their position, they just don't want to get picked off, right. and it allows Enable, it allows Clay to move up, take those players out easy with the AR, they're just kind of lost in the map. Exactly, you never see a sort of team shot going on for the other teams, whereas FaZe, if they are in an unfavorable position, they dash away, wait for a teammate to take the next challenge, and so on and so on. That's why these trades are able to go down, and it seems like FaZe just doesn't take damage half the time. Enable catches three players alone in that round alone. When you have numbers like that, especially in AW, you have to group up and search. Just the math will be in your favor. You gotta hit those trades. Almost nice shots from uh, from Sender right there onto Zuma, but doesn't get taken out. Enable with another first blood. Eight and three for him, five streak with the bomb as well. Great stuff from Enable. I mean, you can't really challenge that. I mean, down 5-0, you gotta make something happen. Right. You gotta make magic happen. But to challenge that mid-map, that's a little bit reckless there at the start of the round, especially with the fact that you know FaZe has been playing with two snipers yep. the entire time, but it's going to be Diabolic and Watson, the last two alive, for DT. Seems like Diabolic just searching for the bomb. Actually going to take a bit of an awkward route. This is where his teammate had just died, so he's going to go back to the same exact spot. He's going to get tagged up from all directions and able, able to take out Watson. It's going to be all up to Diabolic. He's going to fall, and that is a Dominant in performance by FaZe, a 6-0 here of DT on Solar. And basically, FaZe is just taking so much advantage of these double snipe setups. I've seen it on multiple maps from them now, and other teams try and use these bows and just try and peek these long-range alleys versus a sniper. You remember at the beginning, at the beginning of Advanced Warfare, right. Zuma and Attach on Denial, they were really good. One of the best teams with snipers now right. bringing it over to FaZe. It's a, a large gap in time. So but. it makes the other team play slow. But if you're not using a sniper to counter it, you can't shoot a player that far with a bow. It doesn't do enough damage. It takes four, five, yeah. six bullets at times to kill someone at that range, where a sniper takes one. If they were, if, they, if you knew they were running two snipers, you probably should have just adjusted and went towards A. I 
I mean, go towards the just inside use, sight. Use subs. Just use subs. Just get in their punch, face, they, right? You know, just hope they don't quick scope you. Attach hit one and bottom purple that, that S and D, but it's just unbelievable. Yeah, you see the scores enable 10 and 3. Zuma 6 and 2. On the other side for DT, you had Diabolic 5 and 6. Their top performer, Watson, really struggling that one at 1 and 6. But that's going to be a 6 0 in favor of FaZe there on Solar. 5 minute up 2 0 of this series. Going to have Uplink coming up right after this. Happiness is all I